Hello friends, welcome back. Let's complete task 5. Task 5 is to test function run by using HTTP REPL. So as I told you earlier, we need to have HTTP REPL installed first of all. So if you see, here is the command to install HTTP REPL. But if you see here, prerequisite, we need to have .NET Core 2.1 SDK or later before we go and install HTTP REPL. Okay. So now let's go here and let's get the, the latest one. Sorry, not the latest one. We'll go for the recommended one. .NET Core 3.1 LTS. Now, as you can see, there are different variants available. Build apps, SDK, run apps, desktop environment. So we'll go with this one. SDK 3.1.3 build apps. So I'll go and download the Windows EXE. Okay. Click on download, save. So it's downloaded. I'm just going to install .NET SDK. Yes. So just wait for this to happen. Okay, it's done. Now let's go and verify whether we can install HTTP REPL or not. So I'll just open command prompt. Let me minimize this one. And I'm just going to type the command to install .NET tool install dash G Microsoft .NET dash HTTP REPL. Hit enter. Okay, so it's installing right it's done now next thing it says that once you install type this command to start HTTP REPL first okay so I'll just go back to command prompt and I'll type the same command which says HTTP REPL dash H okay I think we are good let's go and see if everything is good, HTTP, REPL, I'll type dash dash help. So I think we are good here. So what I will do now is, we'll just go back to the activity. Now we'll test our function app. It says HTTP, REPL and then URL of your function app. So I'll just go back here. I'll type HTTP, REPL and I need the function app URL which is here. Paste, hit enter. It says unable to find a swagger definition. Okay. Now let's go back. HTTP REPL. Observe the error message displayed by the HTTP REPL tool. This message occurred because the tool is searching for swagger definition. So this is as expected. Now you can see the error. It says unable to find a swagger definition which is expected actually. Because your logic app does not produce a swagger definition file. You will need to traverse the API manually. Okay. At the tool prompt enter the following command okay now we need to run this particular command so i'll just open i'll just put command prompt here i'll keep it and now i need to type cd api okay so cd api and then we need to type the next command which is cd echo i hope you guys can see the command here cd echo it's done now enter the following command and then select enter to run the post command okay so i'll simply copy okay, let me just type here post dash dash con content so here we are passing numeric value it says http 200 okay length one so here is your result because we passed content three like the value was three right that you can see here so we are getting response from our function app the next is you can try out by passing five so we'll do same post dash dash content and five now if i click on this one you see the response here so basically we are making an http call to our function app and we are getting response so this is http trigger based function app okay now here let's see now let's pass a string value okay sorry here it is so the command same as post dash dash 
i'll type hello string value as it is hit enter so now you can see string value okay now enter the following command and then select enter to run the post command sending an http request body set to a json file okay so so far we have tested integer value a string now we are going to process a json data so con content and i'm going to pass json message sorry i'll type message msg then key and then value so i'll type same successful and now i'll just close the bracket okay let's see what happens so here you can see a json response okay perfect now the next is enter the following command and then select hit enter to exit http double application exit okay so now we just need to exit out of http double so i just need to type exit hit enter done okay good close the control e running windows terminal okay return to the browser window with the azure portal okay so we are done here with the exercise 2 thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the exercise 3 bye